Hello everyone, Nate Bowery here, bringing you another Photoshop tutorial brought to you by Questional.com. I've been getting a lot of questions. Uh, people are wanting to know how they can take their regular Facebook and MySpace profile images and turn them into something higher quality, such as something you'd find at a professional photo shoot. So I've got my image here. I'd first off like to thank Michael Miller for providing this image. It's a perfect image, especially for this tutorial. So I'm going to look at this image first, and I'm noticing a couple of things here. It's a very low contrasted, dull image, so not only would I like to fix that, but I'm also noticing there's not much focus on Michael himself. The background is a bit more complex than I'd really like, and is really taking focus away from it. And if this is a profile shot, that's really where you want the focus. So let's go ahead and fix both of those problems. However, I'd like to do this using a unique method. I'm going to go ahead and show that to you now. So I'm going to go to my adjustment layers here, and I'm going to put on a black and white adjustment layer. Now my goal here is to bring out his skin tones and take everything else and darken it down. So I'm looking at my reds here. I'm definitely going to have to increase those. I don't want to go too far because if that's, of course, just going to blow him out, something I really never want. So I'm going to, I'm going to go pretty far around there. So I'm taking my yellows here. I'm going to do... Actually, I was going to do about the same, because usually yellows are in there in skin tones as well. But I'm noticing this is in adding some interesting distortion as well as lightening up my background. Not something I really want. And too low, I'm just going to darken my skin tone. So, you know, I'm actually going to keep yellow about where it was. Every other color, on the other hand, I think I'm going to be pretty safe with moving down. There we go. That's what I wanted. It's sure definitely darken that a bit. Actually, I could probably get away with lowering these guys a lot more. Yeah, actually, I can get along with that just fine. So now that I've got my black and white adjustment layer here, I'm going to go back to my layers panel, and I'm going to put this on a soft light. Now, what's unique about this is it's going to increase the contrast. However, because I'm using a black and white, it's going to increase it varyingly depending on that color. All right, and that's looking really nice, actually. That definitely brought up his skin tones. Here's my before, and here's my after. Added a lot of bit of contrast in there. However, I'm still noticing there's a lack of focus on Michael himself. The background is still more complex than I'd really like it to be. So next, I'm going to go ahead. I think I'm going to add a brightness and contrast here. My goal is to lower the brightness of the background. So I'm going to ignore Michael for a second, knowing I can mask him out in just a second. And I'm not going to darken this up. I'm going to go pretty severe, actually. I'm going to go about here, knowing I can fix it if that's too dark in just a second. Go back to my layers here. Click on my layer mask. And I'm going to take a brush here with right back, right bracket to increase the size. And as you can see, I'm using a zero hardness, nice fuzzy brush. And I'm not actually going to be too careful here. I'm just going to, I can always fix this again in a second. I'm going to go ahead and paint them back in here. And if I were not doing a tutorial, I might take a little bit more time with this. Alright, an alter option to click on my mask to see exactly what I'm working with. Fill these in. I can almost fix them in just a second. Didn't really get his head very well, did I? But I definitely got all the white spots in the middle. So I'm going to click back on the mask again. I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to grab a bit of a smaller brush. Hit X to invert my colors. And I'm going to go ahead and paint that contrast back in there. Do it on this side too. Also going to spend a little bit more time here on this head. I didn't do a very good job that first time. There we go. Get some of that color back in there. All right. There we go. That's looking just fine for me. Double click on my hand tool to bring the image back to the size of my screen. There we go, here's my before and there's my after, definitely bringing some focus back to him. I've got a bit of halo going on. If I were to spend a bit more time with this, I could definitely clear that up, make a proper selection. But for this tutorial, this will work just fine. Now I'm still thinking, despite the background being a bit darker, I'm still thinking I could use a little bit more focus to Michael himself. So I'm going to go to my adjustment layers, I'm going to add a solid color here. Perhaps not that bit of a red, I'm going to add a nice black. And on my mask, I'm going to use a gradient here. I'm going to use a black to white or white to black, whichever. And I'm going to go ahead and use a reflected. And I'm going to invert those. I want a black to white here. And I'm going to go about... I'm going to go about... Actually, that's perfect. 
I'm going to go ahead and unlink those. I'm going to click on my mask here and see if I can scoot this over. Actually, you know what? I've got this line. I forgot about that. I'm going to undo that. Link those back up. Not what I want to do. All right. So I'm going to stick this on an overlay blending mode. I think that might be still a bit too much. I'm going to try soft light if this doesn't work. Yeah, I could, I could lower the opacity. I'm going to try soft light first. I think that's going to work better. Yeah, actually, that works, that works way better. All right. And that's still a bit too much. I'm going to lower the opacity a bit. Not so much so you can see the vignetting, but more so you can experience it instead. Definitely a nice effect to use. I'm going to lower it probably about 58% of the... Actually, that looks really nice. I'm going to stay right there. All right, so F to go to full screen mode, space bar to position my image, and shift tab to bring up just the right layer, just the right panels here. So going back to the beginning, here's my opened up image, completely untouched. I noticed that there is a couple of images, a couple of things wrong with this image. So I go, went in and fixed both of those by adding a black and white adjustment layer, which I put on soft light, and I adjusted, and I adjusted each of those, uh, each of these sliders individually. And now that I've got this on a soft light, I can always adjust these again. Now that I'm looking at it plain as can be, I'm gonna hit Command Z to go back to where I was. All right, and then I added a brightness and contrast to lower the brightness of the background here, bring more focus back to Michael. And then I increased that focus by adding a gradient to the very end, a little bit of video editing on the very top and the very bottom here, just to add an overall focus effect. Alright, hope you enjoyed this. My name is Nate Bauer again, brought to you by Questional.com. If you have any more questions, feel free to stop by and ask your questions there. I'll see you then.